so we're going to continue from question 18 okay so it's a it's a vector question here and we're also going to cover question 19 uh an interesting question as well okay so uh, question 18 uh, you have the coordinates for points a b uh, and c which are which are these okay and you're asked to express as column vectors or a so here if uh, this one it's a it's a coordinate coordinate simply means you have uh, the x coordinate and then you also have the y ordinate it simply means that those are the position vectors so here you're asked to express uh, in in terms of column vectors because there, there are several ways of uh, expressing vectors so you can uh, represent vectors as, as columns so columns are simply two by two by one matrices or you can represent them using what's called the, the uh, rectangular vector notation okay that's when you use um, i and j okay just to split those components and also there's something called the polar vector notation which you uh, learn maybe in a level as well okay so the year you're told specifically to express your vectors in terms of in, in columns okay so here o a uh o a o a simply means the the vector the vector for for this point here so since we say that these are, are actual coordinates then you just take the that coordinate okay you're just um, expressing it in terms of in terms of um uh, a column here two by two by one matrix so um, uh, on the on the uh, second part this one is called scalar scalar multiplication but then you you have to be careful because this one it's uh, you actually have to figure it out okay so negative 2 bc is equal to it should be equal to negative 2 which is the scalar then you're supposed to break this one down uh using your your coordinates here so bc is equal to uh or c minus or b so this one you should commit to memory okay you're going from b to to c you have to go from from or you have you have to uh, say or c which is for for the last uh letter here okay then minus or b which is for the first letter and then now you can do simple substitution so use uh, uh square brackets now since you're going to use uh, column vectors okay so or c would be uh, point c just like uh, i told you any points on the cartesian plane they're actually position vectors so here you get uh, negative three two like this okay then minus or b or b would be what would be uh, zero negative two like this okay so you get what uh negative two then you get uh, here you get negative three negative zero so you just get uh, negative three okay so i'm actually going to move this part so that is just one column so i'm actually going to get negative three here and then here you get two minus minus two so two minus minus two you get two plus two two plus two is equal to it's equal to four okay then you have to complete the, the scalar multiplication so negative two multiplied by negative three you get six here and then negative two multiplied by four then you get negative eight here okay so that's it and then you're you're done okay and now you're asked to for to calculate uh, the magnitude of, of bc so magnitude of bc here by inspection you can say by inspection of part a to uh, part a1 okay since uh, you're inspecting this previous one here then you say comma so it means that you are analyzing this so here this one was is supposed to be your, your bc okay so this one uh you can say bc equal to bc equal to what equal to six negative eight no no it's equal to negative three so bc equal to uh negative three four like this okay and you're asked to calculate the, the magnitude magnitude of bc magnitude of a vector it's equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components so these this ones we call them components here so you should you should go to square root of so you say negative three then you say squared then you say plus uh, four then you say squared like this okay so whenever you get exact answer sometimes it's just validation not always but then sometimes just validation okay if they anticipated that you're going to get in set form and it's paper one then they could have told you to leave your answer maybe in this form here okay 
but then here they actually know that you're supposed to get exact answers so this this one you can use it as a guideline for you to know if you're on the right track or not so here you just get 9 plus plus 16 here 9 plus 16 you get 25 so square root of 25 which is equal to 5 here okay so uh, the magnitude would be would be 5 you can say 5 units okay so this is just about it for this question let's see if we can uh, uh, work out another one so yeah this one it's uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's relatively easy so it should be fine yeah so you have uh, 3 to the power I'm not sure because uh, you know uh, but then it seems as if it's 3 to the power the power x I think equal to 9 to the power negative 2 like this so 3 to the power x equal to 9 here you can actually because you have to match the bases in order for you to equate the, the the powers so 9 is equal to 3 to the power 2 here but then you have to the power 2 already that's there so 3 to the power x is equal to whenever you have two powers these two powers they should always they should um, uh, multiply okay so you don't you only add them if um, they are multiplying for different bases so for example if it were 3 to the power 2 multiply by 3 to the power negative 2 then you'd have to to add these okay but then if uh, it's just one base here and then the, you have another another power on top it actually means that um, you should just multiply straight on so here it should be negative 4 then if these ones are the same these ones are also the same so you actually get x equal to equal to negative 4 like this okay so this is how you work it out and um now moving over to the b part so the b part says um uh given that log um uh, base x8 is equal to log base 216 find the the value of, of x okay so log base x81 is equal to log base 216 so log base x 81 so this paper was uh, a bit tricky 216 here okay so here you can say log plus x 81 is equal to this one would be equal to log plus 2 16 is equal to 2 to the power 2 to the power 4 so 2 by 2 then you get 4 by 2 then you get 8 by 2 then you get 16 okay so you 2 to the power 2 to the power 4 so you can actually write this as equal to you can kick this one to this part here so it comes 4 log plus 2 2 like this whenever you have these two numbers the base of the log and also this number whenever they are the same just know that this one it's equal to it's equal to 1 okay so you're actually dealing with the, with the case of uh, log base x 81 equal to equal to 4 once you have matched this one just know that it's equal to 1 so after after doing this you this one the base you take and then you take this one is the power okay then you kick this one over to the side so it becomes 81 like this so you can also do the same and then this time you're matching the the powers so the powers here you can actually see that 81 is equal to 3 to the power the power 4 so four and four they're in may in uh they're matching so it means that three and and x they should also match so actually get x equal to x equal to three like this okay so this is how you would uh, uh work it out but then this one was uh, a bit tricky some of you will want to do this separately okay so let me let me actually show you what i'm trying to say here so some of you want to do some of you want to do this one separately to say okay log base 2 16 so you can say let log base 2 16 equal to equal to let's say y since x is used here so you can say 2 to the power y equal to equal to 16 okay so you kick this one over just like what we did here so you have uh, 2 to the power y equal to 16 is equal to 2 to the power what? to the power 4 yeah so again by inspection x equal to equal, uh, y equal to what equal to 4 like this okay this wasn't really the answer so you have to you have to continue with with whatever you have here so you would uh, study this point 
Okay, so you uh, then go to this point. Since you now know this one is just simple four, then you just put four here, and then you keep going. Okay, so uh, this is just about it for this question. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything, you just uh, let me know in the comment section. Okay, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You were out.